Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Bull Beer Reviews. Um, this is a uh, semi-special uh, day for reviewing because I'm, I'm probably going to try to load them all on the same day. Uh, but this is my uh, Super Bowl beer review. So I have one beer from uh, Boston, which is this. One beer from Atlanta, where the Super Bowl is being hosted. And one beer from Los Angeles um, that I'm going to drink during the game. Uh, I'm just going to do it on commercial breaks. I'll do a reviewer at halftime, so try not to miss any of the game when I do these. But anyway, so this is another beer from uh, Trillium Brewing Company out of, um, I don't know, I don't think, yeah, they are, Boston. I didn't know if it was Boston or the other area that they have the other location listed on here. But this is uh, <clears throat> the vanilla version of their PM Dawn, which is their... Uh, Coffee Imperial Stout. It is 9% ABV. I know I've done a trillion beers on here before, but I think they've only just been their IPAs, so I haven't done any stouts for them, so pretty excited for this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've had the base beer of this, but I don't think I've had the vanilla one, so it be a new experience for me, too. Just while I'm talking about this, this is uh, for the Super Bowl... Um, Go Rams. I'll just throw that out there. Uh, I don't really care about the Rams that much, but I just don't want to see the Patriots win again. Um, but I like representing each city when I'm drinking beers for Super Bowl. So anyways, you can see this portion got a pretty dark brown to black color. Um, slightly less than one finger's worth of a darker beige to almost a tan head. <clears throat> Um, it smells pretty roasty. There's a little bit of dark fruit and a little bit of, uh, a metallic character, which is kind of not what I'm hoping for, but sometimes you get, I get that in the aroma, but you don't really taste it, so it's okay. But I, I'm getting, like, something that I maybe would perceive as some sort of, uh, sweetness, but I don't know that I would even pick it out as a vanilla, but that might be what it is. So I will say, I don't remember this beer being so viscous. Um, it is it is pretty thick. Uh, for a 9% beer, you know, not one that's crazy, like 14, 15 percenters. Uh, it is pretty damn thick. And the vanilla definitely comes through way more in the uh, the flavor than was in the aroma. It adds a, uh, a sweetness level that I wasn't expecting from the aroma. But it's not overly sweet at all. It's not like super under attenuated or anything. Um, and then you do get that roast there. And uh, that metallic character is still there in the flavor, but it's very, very minimal. It's not nearly as much as the uh, the aroma. And I think the vanilla and the sweetness is kind of uh, working against it, which is a good thing. It does have a mild character of like that, um, like dark fruity cola taste. Um, there's a little bit of like dry cocoa powder in there too, but you definitely get the vanilla, um, nice roast. You can, I would say that the alcohol is probably, is pretty on point. Um, if anything, I'd say it hides it, um, better than average, but I wouldn't say like way better than average. You can get it a little bit, which you should be able to in a 9% beer, but it's definitely, I wouldn't call it like a, a super boozy beer. And I'm getting it more in the throat than I am in the actual flavor. Uh, I don't know what this costs, but because I, I didn't buy it, it, I think it was part of some an extra or something. And, excuse me, but if I remember from seeing these on their website, they're, I think they're roughly the same price as like they're more expensive excuse me, um, IPAs, like 20 to $22, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal for this. Uh, there's a lot of breweries that are canning stouts, like these pastry stouts that are awful, that are as much, if not more money than that. This, I, I would not consider this a pastry stout. It has vanilla, um, and I am getting like a little bit of the coffee too, but it's not overly sweet and it's not overly vanilla. It still tastes like something that would have, that could have or would have been made like 10 years ago. Um, 
Yeah. I really like this. It's good. Um, I admittedly am surprised because a couple other times I had stouts from them. I never thought that they were anything special. They were always decent, but, you know, like, a lot of times some coffee stouts are, yeah, it tastes like coffee, but the beer's really thin and there's not much else to it. But this is a decent bit of depth. Um, all the flavors are there. The slight negative things that it has are pretty well covered up by the positives, but the, and they're not enough for, I think it's really detracts from the drinking experience. So, on my scale of a uh, buy, drink, dump, I'm definitely going to give this a buy. This is some really nice stuff, and I... I would gladly take like a four pack or two four packs of this just to have the to drink whenever I want to drink a bigger beer, but not like something massive at fourteen percent or something. So, yeah, this one's definitely a buy for me. Uh, it's another great beer from Trillium. Usually I'm bump, bumping them up for uh, for their IPAs, but you know, it's a nice good surprise to get something else really quality out of them for a different style. So. I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.